On August 23, 2023, officers in Wyandotte, Michigan were dispatched to a local business in reference to a disorderly person. Dispatch advised responding officers that a female was banging on the doors of the business and she appeared to be high or drunk. <laughs> You hear me? Yeah. What's going on? Time. You're having a what? Hard time. A hard time. What do you mean by a hard time? I'm drunk. Uh huh. Weed. You smoke some weed and you're drunk. Yep. Okay. Are you banging on doors around here? No, absolutely not. No. She beat on that door so hard it popped the cover off the, the closer. Not no, he didn't go banging on the door looking oh, for. Oh, absolutely you. not. Down the floor back there. That's what that noise. Were you looking for car keys or something? No. We just heard somebody pounding on the door, which is not usual. I would no. not. No. Okay. Is this your car? Yes. How'd you get here then? I own it. You I own, own it? Or my boyfriend's in right now. Okay. Yeah, why well, don't we just yeah. Yeah. You throw them up on the dash there, right? Or I'll take them. It's fine. Okay. Why don't you no. step out for me here? So you have lined up or Sydney McCaffrey, 232034. Good afternoon, Council. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Your Honor, John Rolfo, P30758 on behalf of Ms. McCaffrey. All right, and ma'am, your name, please. Sydney McCaffrey. All right, take the date scheduled for arraignment pretrial on this matter. <coughs> and Council asks for the arraignment. Your Honor, she was going to use the charge. We're going to only love that charge and ask the plea is not guilty of the end. And so the court will read the former reading entry plea of not guilty for purpose of the arraignment and ask the pretrial counsel. We're going to discuss this matter with uh, Ms. McCaffrey. I had some lengthy discussions with Ms. Taylor regarding this matter. It's my understanding that she will plead as charged to the public intoxication. And the uh, she will be referred under 5771.1E. I've also explained to her as she has take, already taken steps to look into some alcohol treatment programs. Uh, she's been going through some very hard times, particularly since the death of her brother. And she really needs to get into some sort of, uh, at least, outpatient treatment regarding this. Said we're asking that uh, she be allowed to be taken to the civil civil one. She has absolutely no prior criminal record, is that correct? Correct. Maybe some pieces of traffic incidents. Um. So, I don't need speeding tickets. I, I can't hear. Anything. Oh, no, no speeding tickets. No. Okay. Please raise your right hand. You saw me swear from the testimony about skin to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Okay. And uh, as to the charge of public intoxication, how do you plead? Not guilty. No. Oh, guilty. Okay, Kim. Hello. Okay. Nope. Go ahead and put your hands on top of your head. I'm just going to pat you down for a weapon. You know, have anything ahead. on you that's going to poke me, stick me, anything no, like that? Go no. right ahead. Okay. Yep. There you go. You said you, you came here with your boyfriend? Yes. All right. All right. Let me go over here and just sit on my, my front of my bumper here. Okay. okay. Do you got ID on you or anything? I do if you want to okay. get it. Yep, yep. Just sit on the front bumper there. If you want to get out of my purse, yep. go, go ahead. Just put your butt down on this. Oh, there you go. Like a seat. Where are you trying to go? Back to my house. Where's your house? And that's why I was on the passenger seat because my boyfriend was driving me to the office. Well, where's your boyfriend at? The office in the office. Meet your boss. Yeah. Well, I was yeah. not driving. Alright, is he mad because you were drinking? Yes. Gotcha. But I was not driving. Okay. So but you guys were coming from Flat Rock? I've been drinking all day. Okay. How much have you had? Um, is your have like a pint and a half? And a half. All day? Yes. Okay. That's from what time in the morning? Uh, probably since like 11. 11? And now it's almost 6 o'clock. Have you anything else besides a pint no. and a half today? You said you, I don't you do said you drugs. Smoked, you I said don't. You, did you smoke weed? You told I me when do I, smoke weed, but I did not smoke any weed. Okay, you told me when I walked up that you, or you smoked yes, some weed. Yes, so. but I can't. Sorry. Hands on the car. I can't smoke weed and drink at the same time, so I can't do both combined. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, so, you guys were driving. Where were you coming from? Where were you trying to get 
trying to get back to Riverview? Yes. Okay. Do you think you're in Taylor? Do you know what city you're in? What city are you coming from? I'm really drunk. Okay. Honestly, okay. I'm going to be on All right. the side of this. You want to blow, blow in there like you're blowing up a balloon? Blow in the We're trying to figure out, yeah. Where are you going or what? Do you have no idea where both of them went? Is he ticked off at you because you've been drinking? Yes. Has he been drinking? No. No? This was, he was in this right now. Okay. What, is, what did I blow? Do you want to know? Yes. That's one of the higher ones I've ever seen in a while. Are you kidding me? A 38. Point three eight. Yeah, and you're walking and talking like... That's bad. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Car. Go ahead. Stand up for him. Stand up. Absolutely. All right. Go ahead. Put your hands behind your back. I'm getting arrested. Yeah. Hey, public in talk, my man. All right, my man. We have to take you to the hospital because you're over a point three five. Okay. Okay. So you're I'm... very, very high. So we got. I got. I'm going to take you to the hospital. Okay. okay? But yes. you're gonna get a you're gonna get a ticket, okay? But you're not going to jail. Fair enough. Thank you. Okay. Fair. Right, okay. Just explain what's going on, okay? So you're not like um, what's going on. So my brother died in February, and I've been having a really hard time okay. since then. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. McCaffrey, back on eight twenty three, August twenty third of twenty twenty three. Were you sitting in a car in an alley? Uh, in uh, City of Atlanta. Yes. And did it come a point in time when the police came and not found you? Yes. Prior to that, had you been drinking alcohol? Yes. When the police spoke to you, you exited the car and you were highly intoxicated. Would that be a fair statement? Yes. And in fact, you were so intoxicated that the police called uh, for the emergency to take you to the hospital. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. You recall that part of this? I yes. I just was thinking if it was the police or the ambulance that had taken it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I was just trying to recall. Yeah, yes. I yes. understand. And my understanding, you're going through some real hard times regarding death of your brother. That's interesting. You're trying to combat it, but obviously you won't know. Is that correct? Yes, I was then. Correct. And would you have, would you state that you were highly intoxicated in public? Yes. We would stipulate, Your Honor, that the test results shows well over three five. Three five point three five. Point three eight nine. Point three eight nine. It's correct. Sure. And you are still able to be present. Okay, if the court uh, finds the plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate, the court will accept your plea to the charge and ask the bond counsel. Your Honor, I don't believe that she was released from the hospital and ticketed. Uh, she's here, she hasn't had a drink. And since this incident, is that correct? correct? She's maintaining her sobriety, and as I've indicated, she's trying to get into some sort of uh, outpatient uh, treatment program or at least uh, finding AA, et cetera, and all those things. Uh, we ask for a personal bond this particular night. Ma'am, what are you doing for uh, to support yourself and maintain sobriety? Um, honestly, I just have been drinking. I was going to counseling. Um, but I just recently switched jobs, so I don't have insurance at the moment. So I stopped that momentarily. Um, but I am willing to do like AA programs and get into the program. Um, I like I said, I had insurance since that day, so I'm just kind of was trying to get help. Once I get insurance again, um, I definitely would look into getting therapy, absolutely for sure. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to discount. Um, any efforts that you've made to maintain sobriety. But you're a point three eight nine, and you want me to believe that you just stopped cold turkey on your own. Because I'm watching you shake right now. Because I'm like really nervous. I've never been cold before, so I'm like really nervous. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And so if I test you right now, 
You have zero levels of intoxication. I would have zero alcohol in my system. You're in a horrible blood test. I'm going to order a $7,500 personal bond and an alcohol tether. I understand that you're saying, ma'am, that you've been able to do this on your own. And I'm not indicating that you're not being honest. But there are many people that are not honest with this court. In fact, Mr. Meadows, who said he wanted to go to treatment, said to get on his bike and ride home and not go to ride somewhere, but not to probation. So, um, please have a seat in probation. Somebody will be with you shortly. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. Thanks. 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 Summer for the <laughs> and so, ma'am, I just want to ask you as well, how long um, have you been consuming alcohol like this? Um, it didn't start until like a week late spring, early summer. Mm -hmm. when I think it's when my brother passed away in February, so it just started. Okay. So it was a few months that it was really. And you have not had any yeah. medical monitoring during your <laughs> detox at all? No, I have not. And you haven't had any issues with your withdrawals? Well, like at first, yeah, from especially after drinking that much, it was like I felt nauseous a lot and sleepy, <laughs> but that was pretty much it. That lasted about like four or five days, I would say. Okay. So just, I know that there's physical issues that occur when individuals detox. Right, you can have organ failure, you can have shutdown, and there's a lot of different things you can go. You can have seizures, and so um, given your level, that was the concern of the court had. Okay, please have a seat in probation. Do not leave without more information. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you? I will let you when you get to the hospital. How about that? Like I said, you're not going to jail, so I'll get those handcuffs off you when we get to the hospital, okay? I appreciate, I appreciate you, miss. No problem. That was the first time I've ever had a tight handcuffs on me. They hurt. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what you were saying over sorry, the... I know the car is squeaky. It's um, very bouncy. I said, I said, at least you're not going to jail, okay? So you're just going to Thank you, hospital. I appreciate that. Go to the hospital to get some, um, like, check out, make sure you're all good, because you have you got a lot. Thank you, miss. Again. Is it possible for you to look up information so you can call my boyfriend? I have your phone. I'll let you call. Oh. Call John. Um. Johnny Rocket, it says. Oh, no, it says Joe Friend. That's what it's Joe Friend. I was supposed to pick him up from work a half hour ago. What? I was supposed to pick him up from work a half hour ago. Where are you drinking at home? Um, just out and about. Out and about? Okay. Yeah, not like anywhere specific. Just kind of floating around? Yes. Thank you for being so polite. I really appreciate it. You're a very polite officer. Yeah, two, three, two, three, four. Good morning. Good morning. Your Honor, John Goldbaugh, P30758, on behalf of Mr. Kathy. Mr. Kathy, would you please put your name on there? Good morning, Henry. Today's date scheduled for sentencing on your client's plea to public intoxication. And counsel? Your Honor, as I said, John Goldbaugh, uh, I've had an opportunity to review the uh, investigation with Ms. McCaffrey. There are no additions, deletions, or corrections. However, Your Honor, I would like to point out that uh, Ms. McCaffrey, basically at your suggestion, uh, has enrolled in online uh, grief uh, counseling uh, dealing with the death of her brother, which was the triggering point of this incident. Also, Your Honor, she has been attending uh, AA, and I have verification to present to my, I'll take a look at that. Thank you. If it would be easier, Your Honor, she has written everything down and I'll give you a copy of that. You're an early riser, you don't go to bed till late. 
Um, it's just my schedule with between me and my boyfriend and our work schedules. It's the meetings are at 4 a.m. So I've been waking up in the morning and doing the 4 a.m. meetings. They're based out of California, so they're at 1 a.m. on the coast time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, council. Okay. You are also, um, as indicated, there are no additions, deletions, or corrections we made. Uh, we have reviewed the uh, pre-sentence report in detail. Uh, and Your Honor, she's also eligible for 771.1. She's also eligible for her determination. Uh, with that said, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Kathy realizes that alcohol and she are not friends. And uh, this is something that was triggered by the with that said, Your Honor, uh, we ask for the recommendation. Okay, and so, Liam, what have you been getting out of your meetings? Um, honestly, I've just been finding that there's a lot of people um, that are going through the same thing, um, especially at that meeting. If you <clears throat> see towards the end, I found the meeting that I kind of really like that guts meeting um, down here at a serenity. So I've been doing that one the last like week or so. Um, there's quite a few people on there that have been going with material stories in general. Um, I think there's one lady on there, her um, husband passed away. So just listening to the stories and the things she went through after the death, it's just realizing there's other people out there that have gone through the same thing and that there are things you can do to do that instead of drinking and get yourself better. So when you don't just feel like you're so on other people's process. stories and Realizing you know you're not alone. So right. No, it's easy to when you're in the throes of it to feel like nobody else goes through that. Right. Right. Okay. Right. And I had to tell you, I mean, at a point three eight nine, and I think I said it that day too. I'm not even sure how you were how you didn't your body didn't shut down, but that also tells me that you had. A significant problem that just hadn't been addressed and you hadn't uh, been caught before for any criminal reason. So, all right, any counsel? Your Honor, we ask the adoption here. The, the recommendation be adopted. Yes. All right, and so you still have the alcohol tether on, correct? Yes. Okay, and I'm sure it's uh, it's annoying, but. Do you find that it's a helpful crutch? Have you found that it's been a helpful crutch for you right now on transition from not drinking? I honestly, I don't think it honestly is making a difference either way. I mean, I, like I said before, like, I don't know. I just, um, I don't, I honestly, I don't know. I don't think it's really made a difference. Like from being here last time, it like really scared me up. Sure, you don't remember I was shaking so bad up here. It's like, um, but I just think the being in trouble last time was like really like scared me. Like I, I can't do that yet. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. After hearing from counsel, hearing from Ms. McCaffrey, reviewing the report, the recommendation, the court does find that there's reasonable grounds for Part MCL 769.5. The court is going to order 12 months probation. You're eligible for early discharge. I'll go over that in just a few moments. As to the fines and costs, the court's going to order a $300 fine, $100 screening assessment fee. Supervision oversight fee of $600. That's $50 a month at 12 months. And since you're eligible for early discharge, up to $300 of that may not be due. $200 for the cost of prosecution. It's an assessment fee of $75. Justice is an assessment fee of $50. That's a total of $1,325. Okay. okay. All right. I wish you well, ma'am. I wish you luck. And please um, have a seat over on probation. Somebody will be with you. <coughs> your alcohol tablet can be removed. Thank you very much, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.